Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to fix hard drive errors those occurs on Windows operating system. Hard drive is a very important part of computer system. You may have all the important data in it and cannot afford to lose it. So we are going to see how to check and repair the disk errors and regularly do the disk health check to avoid any hard drive failure. Basically these issues we are talking about are like hard drive is not responding properly or giving some or more errors when you are trying to access it. So let's check out this simple operations you can follow on a regular basis. Use system file checker or SFC scan now. Microsoft has provided the basic tool to check and correct if there are any issues with any Windows system files. SFC scan now is used to scan and check if you have any missing, corrupted or modified Windows system files and if it finds anything like that, it attempts to repair them by replacing with a clean copy from backup component store. So open elevated command prompt. You can do that by going into the start menu and type cmd. Right click on it and click on run as administrator. Now type this simple command sfc forward slash scan now and hit enter. It will take some time maybe an hour to complete the verification depending on the size of hard drive and the number of files available on it. Do not close the window before it completes 100%. It will scan all the protected system files. It replaces the found corrupted files with the one located in C Windows System 32 DLL cache. This file is in compressed folder. Once it completes it will show the results as this saying that windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation which is self-explanatory and tells us that your windows do not have any missing or corrupted files sometimes after completing the system file checker you may receive the other messages like this which is a positive message saying that yes windows resource protection has found some corrupt files and successfully repaired them all the details are included in cbs.log file present at c windows logs cbs folder you may also receive the following message windows resource protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them details are included in the cbs.log file which is located in C Windows Logs and CBS folder. We have already addressed this issue with solution in this video. You can click on it and go through it for the resolution. The last you can get the following message saying that Windows resource protection could not perform the requested operation. Here the requested operation refers to system file checker or SFC scan. So in order to resolve this problem, perform the system file checker or SFC scan in safe mode. Here you need to make sure that pending deletes and pending renames these two folders exist under the following path. C Windows Win SXS Temp. But as our operation of system file checker or SFC scan is completed successfully with this message, we don't have to worry about these three previous messages. Let's move ahead with the second operation now. Check disk or CHK DSK is used to see if a hard drive has any file system errors or a bad sector on it. And it attempts to repair them if any found. We'll have to run this command for each drive. You can see I have these three drives in my system. So let's first check it out for C drive. Type the simple command CHK DSK space C colon space for slash F space for slash R space for slash V. Here, parameters F, R and V each has its own importance. Parameter F, it automatically fixes the system errors on the disk. Parameter R, scan for and attempts recovery of bad sectors. And parameter V, it displays the full path and the name of every file on the disk. So, once you type the command in command prompt, hit enter and it will start scanning all the files on system. It will take some time depending on the size of disk and total number of files on it. Again, do not close CMD before it completes. Once the scanning is complete, you can see Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems. No further action required. Also, you can see whole lot of information here, including total disk space, total number of files available on the disk, indexes, total number of bad sectors in size, current used space on the disk, space occupied by the logs, 
and current available space on the disk etc so currently it's saying that zero kbs of bad sectors which means there are no issues of bad sectors with our disk once the check disk procedure is complete do it for d drive and also for other available drives on your system to make sure everything is right in place it's always a good practice and in our best interest to perform these operations on a regular basis let's say once in a month i hope you like the video Keep sharing it, provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.